we're lucky to have a former European Cup winner and, and colleague of Brian Clough, John McGovern, with us. John, welcome to Yeovil Town. Thank you very much. Nice Thank of you to sport to us. Um, what's, the, what's the view from Nottingham on, on Yeovil's sort of arrival in the Championship? Well, obviously they found it tough. They found results difficult to, to get and uh, they're just going to have to keep grinding away because things can change very, very quickly if you manage to get a result. Um, that's literally, they're at the wrong end of the league. They want to get out of there. And as long as the players retain their focus and retain their commitment to the cause and they have that little bit of a belief they're going to get results, then, you know, they will get some results. And you never know, there might be other teams that are flying at the moment, but anybody can hit a bad run at any time. So the main thing to say to the players is, you know, keep your belief, keep your commitment and try and keep your enjoyment of the game going, you know, even though it's a little bit tough at the moment. They're professionals, so they get paid to go through tough times. And that's exactly what they're going to try and do at the moment. You obviously had a huge amount of success in your career. Did you ever have a period when you're a bit like Yeovil, when you sort of, that win just wouldn't come? Um, well, actually, I, uh, I ended up going to Leeds United from Derby County, and uh, I thought this was going to be a dream move for me, but I didn't realise that there was such resentment against the manager, Brian Clough, at Leeds United. Of course, he'd been heavily critical of them in the media, and I yeah. didn't realise the feelings ran very, very deep. Yeah. And when I arrived at Elland Road... Um, Obviously, after leaving Derby County, I found out I was I was unwanted by anybody at the club, oh. and it was a very very difficult time for me. Mm -hmm. And I spent about six months at Leeds, not being involved in the squad. And in, even in those days, they used to have the players' names on the back of the squad tracksuits. Yeah. Well, I was there six months, and I never got a tracksuit with my name on the back of it. So I think that was a big hint from the club that I didn't really <laughs> belong there. And uh, thankfully, I went to Nottingham Forest, and as you mentioned, we had fantastic success and it was it was good to go walk back into Ellen Road with my head held high with two European Cup winners medals in my collection. Yeah, quite. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So um, g give us a Cruffy story because you, you must have hundreds of them. But well, the best story I can tell you about Brian Clough educating players was when I was a 15-year-old and I made my debut for the first team, at, at, actually at 16. And um, typical schoolboy, ran at the full-back, lost it, ran at the full-back, lost it and then on the Monday morning, Brian Clough said to me, get a ball and bring it here now. <laughs> and I got a ball and I went over to him. I said, well, what do you want me to do with it, boss? He said, what I would like you to do is dribble that ball round the corner flag and back as fast as you can. Off I went with the ball, came back to him. I said, was that OK, boss? And he said, now I want you to run round the corner flag and back without the ball. Ran round the corner flag, came back to him. I said, was that OK, boss? A little bemused. And he said, now tell me what was easier running with the ball or without the ball and I said boss it's easier running without it why is that and he said well why don't you try passing it on a Saturday then <laughs> <laughs> and I learned that lesson as a 16 year old and that helped me get through my career I like the accent that's very good you, you, you want to be on television with that <laughs> so, so finally uh, John what, what do you see the game going today how do you see it working out well obviously Forrester are playing very well at the moment and they've got a good strong squad this season and they've actually got that little more belief than that I think they had last season, which means on a few occasions this season they managed to come from behind. So you're going to see quite a, a confident Nottingham Forest side this afternoon. And Yeovil, as I said, they've just got to go out there. They are at home. They'll have the supporters behind them to start with. And with their attitude and their commitment, try and get something out of the game.